Fitness experts often tell us it's important to exercise the core area of our bodies, but do you know the difference between core strength and core stability? Ashley Matthews met with an expert from the American Center to find out. We are here at the beautiful American Center on Madison's east side. Dave Knight joins us, sports performance coordinator here at the American Center. And you have some very important information about core strength versus core stability. Right. Yeah, I think we, we think of core strength and core stability as being one and the same. And the reality is that they're very different. And, and we try to oftentimes train core stability with core strength. And the piece that people need to understand is that there are really two different systems at play here. Um, oftentimes in core strength we're training our movers so we're training the, the big rectus muscles in the front of our body or the obliques and, and those are our movers and those are our big um, kind of anti movers you might even say um, but what we need to get to are the small little deeper muscles that surround the, the spine that connect to the pelvis that connect to my shoulder blades and oftentimes we miss those when we're really training for core strength. Okay, and you have some exercises that we should be doing to help with that. Yeah, so a lot of traditional exercises for core stability, I think, are the, the plank. The plank exercises, again, is, is one of those exercises that, that is a good exercise at training the, the big movers, but really doesn't do a lot to get to the little guys. So um, one of the, the simple thing I have people do is first just learn how to get their body in a position with a, a stable pelvis. So, so I'll have them lay on the ground and, and just talk them through what it means to be in a neutral position. But then we'll advance into exercises that are um, pretty simple, and it's easy to tell if you've been successful or if you've failed. So I'll, I like to take a line like this, and imagine there's a two by four on the ground, so we're gonna use this white line. And what I have people do is take, uh, after a progression to this point, have people take one foot, put it on the line, put the other knee on the line, and then take this foot and put it directly over the top of the line and just get tall. So this here is a stability position where I'm actually asking my right hip and my trunk to work together to stabilize. And a lot of people when they're in this position will feel very unstable or they'll cheat, they'll widen out. So you've got to think about having that two by four. And, and most people don't even realize it, but they'll cheat this way even, they'll put their foot way out. So once you're on that two by four, it's thinking about getting as long and as tall as you can, tight through here, engaging this backside glute muscle and trying just to hold that position. For some people that might be very, very difficult. And once you've got that down, then we can go into actually some, some movements where I can actually start to rotate and turn. And again, in some people, some scenarios, as they rotate and turn, they'll start to feel themselves falling over sideways. So it's, it's, it's an exercise that's really simple to do, but it really shows a lot about how you stabilize. And just by doing a few of those, your brain starts to learn, all right, how can I get my hip, my pelvis, and my trunk to work together to keep me stable? With the end being, you know, the, the, the epitome of stability is being able to balance on one foot and hold this position without falling over. And then do that with your eyes closed without falling over. And many people would be challenged with that exercise. Yeah. But building up to that is what helps us build stability. And these are simple exercises you can even do at home. You can just put a piece of tape down yeah. even in your living room and practice there. Right. Okay, well, thank you very much for this useful information. If you have more questions or want to see what the American Center has to offer here, it's a beautiful facility, yeah, by the way. You can go to our website, NBC15.com, and click on News Links.